In this video, we're going to talk about nested charts with Charticulator. Um, the native Power BI visuals handle hierarchies pretty well. Um, however, one limitation is they don't offer the use of expressions for the data labels, so you can't put text labels on the native uh, visuals. Uh, however, it's pretty easy to do that with a Charticulator visual, but that one doesn't handle hierarchies in a single chart. Fortunately, you can create nested visuals uh, with Charticulator, and I'm going to show you that in this uh, video, as well as a, a sort of a hack that you may need to use uh, if you run into a, a, a common issue people see with nested charts. Um, if you're learning from these videos, uh, please follow me on Twitter and subscribe to this uh, Hoosier BI YouTube channel uh, to stay up to date with the latest videos that, that I put out. All right, so for this demo, I just made a really simple mock data set that has you know, data about the, the year, th three years worth of data, um, three different categories, a bunch of different uh, project names, and then some random numbers for values. And this is just using the native stacked bar chart. And you can create a pretty nice looking visual here um, that has this hierarchy of year and then category on the, on the x-axis and then the height of the bars here. Um, and you can add, if you go over to the uh, format options, you can turn on data labels and you can get the numbers there, which is fine. You can even do the, the totals, uh, but you can't put text there. And so for that, you need your articulator. Um, and so I've already uh, installed that from the from the app source, but if you need that, you just click here, get more visuals, and then search for Charticulator and install it. And if um, with it, you can make uh, a chart that has your text labels, but as you can see, it doesn't handle the hierarchy very well. And, uh, and this is just a single Charticulator chart. So it gets close, but uh, you know, it doesn't look as nice as the previous chart. And there's some tricks you can do to with carriage returns and a dynamic measure that you know, just returns the category for some of these, not all of them, and get close to that effect, but it still wouldn't look great. Um, the best way to, to do this would be with a, a nested visual, and that's what we're going to demonstrate here. And this is an example of the, the chart we're going to build. Again, it doesn't look great, the colors and things, but, you know, lots more could be done with this. But here you can see that it has uh, the four categories here as the, the main x-axis, and then there's a nested visual here, uh, with the year as the as the x-axis and then the project and value data above. Um, so let's go ahead and, and build this chart and I'll also show you a common issue that people run into with nested visuals. So let's go ahead and create that visual. Usually what I do is I'll start out with a table of the data that I need and then control C, control V to copy that and then I'll resize it and then just convert it to a Charticulator visual. Um, you'll see that it um, tries to help you out and puts the different uh, things in the different field wells. In this case, we want them all up in the data area. And then we can go in and start editing the chart. And we're not going to use a template. We're just going to create from scratch. And normally, um, you would start by dragging a, a mark into the into the glyph area. In this case, we're actually going to use a nested chart uh, instead. But before I do that, um, I'm going to go ahead and change the year to a categorical. That way, they're nice and evenly spaced on the y-axis, and they're not really narrow with big spaces in between because it creates a, a numeric scale uh, when you drag that to to the axis. And again, we want the category on the y-axis, and so I'll go ahead and do that. And then instead of dragging a mark there, we're going to um, do a visual. And I'll just drag it in there. And you see um, whatever is in the glyph here will get repeated for every single row of data, and we have quite a few here. And so we actually want to do a, a group by um, to reduce the number of, of glyphs on there. And so what we can do is go back to the plot segment, and we're going to group this by category. And you can already see it starts to look a lot cleaner. We've got our four uh, nested charts here. 
for each, one for each category. So now what we need to do is go in here and then you know, click on the nested chart and then say edit nested chart. And so now we are inside the nested chart. We can save it in a minute once we're done. Um, usually I get rid of that title. And now we're, we can build a chart like usual. We'll take a mark and bring it in here. Uh, we want to stack in the Y direction. These are stacked bar charts. And we're going to uh, reduce the size of that. The height of that is going to be related to the value. I can now collapse that to give me some more space. And then on the shape, um, we're going to fill it by uh, project just to get different colors there. And we're also going to put the year on the, the Y axis. On the plot segment, we can also get rid of, I'll collapse the X axis, and then on the Y axis, I'll get rid of that gap. And I'll bring that up a little bit. And then I want to add my text labels here so I can go and grab a text box. Put it in the middle there, drag it up to center it, then I can collapse the glyph again, and then I can drag the project name to the text field. And I'll leave that size for now, but again, there's a lot more formatting you can do. So, um, all right, so now let's save our nested chart, and I'll show you an issue that, that people often see with nested charts. And so I saved it and I hit close. And now you can see that the other charts are, are here. And actually, if we you know, save this and go back to the report, um, and actually I'll put, um, I'll put project, for example, in the tooltips just so that we see something when we hover. Um, you can see that the data are there, but the colors aren't there. And so a kind of a bug of Charticulator is we were editing, you know, this one example row of data and it was grouped by category. So we effectively had four rows of data. And in that there were projects, you know, zero or 01 and 02 um, in that first row of data. Um, so it uh, only assigned colors to those and not these. So it is possible to go back in, in here and fix this directly. And um, so you could go back to the, the nested chart, edit the nested chart, um, go, go for the shape, and then go here and then, uh, for example, add a legend. But you can also add the other values here. And I could do, you know, project 03 and assigned a color and all that stuff. Um, but but actually there's a there's a better way that so I'm going to show you a way to avoid that so we'll go back in and edit the chart but before I do that uh, I've created this measure here called constant and I've just assigned it a text value of ABC it, it doesn't matter what you use here the key is that it's a constant value for every row of data uh, in the visual uh, and so I'll go ahead and edit the chart now and I'm going to go ahead and delete the nested chart. And then I'm going to group not by the category um, field, but by the constant. And also on my plot segment, I'm going to remove the, the ABCD across the bottom and delete that. So now we're grouped by this single value. So actually this, this one chart. So if I go ahead and drag a um, nested visual there, you see there's just a single chart. And because all of the rows have the same value here, all of the data are in this nested chart. So now if we go in and build our nested chart out, I'll delete the title. I'll bring the mark in. We'll stack Y again. Uh, now I'll bring the, the year to the X axis. I'll put the value on the height of the bar. I'll get rid of the 
the gap here on the y-axis we'll color our shape by project and then we will uh, add our text box put it in the middle collapse that put the project as the text field and bring this up a little bit and so now you see we've got all of the projects all those colors there are now you know appropriately in the legend for this we could add the legend if we want but I'm not going to uh, I'll save the nested chart and close this okay and so now we're we're back to here and so now what I can do is on this the parent plot segment um, I can change that grouping to be back by the category and I can also put the category on the x-axis again and then we you know, pretty much have our, our finished chart. I'll, I'll save this and go back to the report. And now you see we're, we're pretty much there. Um, of course, there's a lot more that could be done to make this look better, um, including you know hiding the uh, this lowest x-axis and tick marks. I had done that in the earlier visual. I forgot to do it in the demo. Uh, but you could do that and, of course, get the formatting and colors and all that kind of stuff uh, looking much nicer than this. Uh, but I just wanted to make this quick video to show you uh, how to use a constant measure so that you have all of the data available to you in your nested chart so that it appropriately shows up and the, it assigns colors for those values. I uh, hope you found this useful. Thank you.